I'm going to start by selecting my math placement data. I'm going to just click, drag, and hold. So I'm highlighting all of that data. And then I want to go to insert chart. So I'm going to choose insert. And over here from my chart options, I'm going to choose the pie chart. Now, when you click on it, you actually get several different options. You can choose any of these, but I just want to choose that first 2D option. Now, once I've chosen that, I want to start doing some formatting. So for starters, I don't want this to say chart title. I instead want it to say placements. And I can even move that by just clicking on it once and moving that over into the corner. Now, if you noticed when I clicked on it, I was given some different chart design options up above. You can go through these options to get your layout, or you can go ahead and use this one that we're using and then continue to customize it. Now, you'll notice that I don't have any data labels on here, and I really want to get those data labels up here. Now, I've got my chart clicked on. So if I click on it one time, I get this plus button, but you'll notice up above here that I'm also in my chart design menu, which means that I can click on the add chart element. So whether you do it from the plus sign, you're given the option to add data labels, I can click there. Or if you do it from the add chart element, you can also add data labels here. Now I've got several different options for the placement of my data label. And as I go through the different placement options, I really like this data call out. Plus it gives me percentages as well. Now, if you want to adjust percentages, I'm going to click on my chart again. I'm going to make sure I'm in that chart design sub menu and then over on add chart element. Let's go to data labels and then down to more data label options. This is going to bring up a nice menu over here on the right hand side where you can select and unselect any of those different options. Now let's say that we're really focusing on the Math 99 placement and I want to explode this pie piece out of the pie a little bit to highlight it. If I click on just that pie piece, I can go ahead and click, hold, and drag that pie piece out so it's been exploded out of that pie. Now in terms of placement in your document, in order to place it, you just want to click on it that one time. Again, we've got those dots around the corners and I can drag it through my document and place it where I want. I can also resize it by clicking on any of those corner dots and dragging to the size that I want. Now you may also want to change the colors of your pie chart. If I click on the pie chart and I go up here to my color palette, it gives me some pre chosen chart options. I can click on one of these pre-chosen options. If I want to change the color of any of these pie pieces, I can go ahead and click on just one of those pieces by double clicking. I'm going to choose the bucket and then down here a little bit further, I can click on that bucket and change it to another color. And I can go through and do it to all of these. So I've got exactly the colors that I want for my pie chart. If you want to rotate your pie chart, you want to double click on any of your slices and over here on the right hand menu, make sure that you're under this chart options and then you'll notice that you've got angle of first slice and you can go ahead and move that as much as you want. I really liked it where it was. Now you're ready to go and make a great pie chart.